So what's the best diet for pigs? Well, it depends on your goal, right? So uh, what are your goals? That's going to vary. But in general, you want to stay in business and also make a profit, right? So let's keep those in mind. Secondly, how is the market? Are you making money or are you losing money? That will definitely influence some of your decisions. So if you think that the market from a feed price standpoint and also a pig price standpoint is changing every day, um, in theory, the optimal diet will be changing really every day, right? Uh, of course, from a more practical standpoint, uh, and depending how your contracts go, uh, you might be changing that diet monthly or every few months or even more often for some folks that do have the like uh, uh, inline NIR. Uh, but without getting to the weeds, let's talk about some of these uh, options that you have, right? Uh, you can, number one, formulate a diet to maximize performance. Um, you know, you can maximize every daily game, minimize feed efficiency. Now, is that a good approach? Well, very s rarely, you know. Uh, again, uh, you want to stay in business and make a profit. So just saying, hey, I have a phenomenal average daily gain or I have a, the best feed efficiency in the world doesn't really tell you much, right? Number two, you can minimize cost. And so some folks like to see the cost per ton, but that doesn't tell you a whole lot, right? If you just look at the cost per ton, it's not telling, it's just you know, the price of that diet, but it doesn't know how that translates into performance uh, to have this overall approach. So within minimizing the cost, the other option is um, minimize the cost per kilogram of gain. That is a pretty good indicator, right? Many producers use that one as a good indicator there, you know, and nutritionists when you're formulating diets, that would be a good indicator to uh, optimize for. And then number three, you have the option of maximizing the profit. Well, that sounds pretty fun, right? You know, when you're losing money, you probably want to minimize the cost per kilogram of gain. When you're making money, you probably want to maximize profit. So what does that mean, right? Uh, well, yeah, there's something called income over feed costs, right? So that's normally is pretty good when you have a fixed time uh, situation uh, or also known as when you're short in space. And uh, if you're not familiar with those terms, we'll touch uh, on that uh, later here in the channel. So make sure to subscribe, right? But the other one is income over feed and facility cost. So that's looking not only at this profit on top of the variable cost, which is the feed, but also the that cost of facility because you're leaving these pigs one more day in the barn, seven more days in the barn, so you need to account for that. And that's normally when you are in a fixed weight scenario that you are marking these pigs at a fixed weight every single batch, for example. And that's when your longest space, okay? So with that, you know, your the best pig diet will depend on your goals, the market, and also remember, you wanna make sure you stay in business and, uh, and you're making some profit there, right? Uh, so that's, High level overview on you know on the best big diet. What's that diet? And uh, it's it's gonna you have to take all those things into consideration. So if you like this video, uh, smash that that like button right there, and then also subscribe to our channel and uh, turn on the notifications. So with that, we'll see you soon.